Tommy, thanks so much for joining us here. Um, so as a seasoned actor, can you give us, us new um, actors some advice on how to approach the industry? Sure, absolutely. The first and foremost you need to do is make sure you have a headshot. Make sure your headshot is your current self, not something that you looked 5, 7, 32 years ago. Something that is current now because, as we all know, we get older. We also either gain weight or we lose weight. And that's something primarily because if you show up on set looking like your pitcher five, six, eight years ago and you're not the same person, you'll quickly be removed from set. Um, the worst thing a director or a casting agent wants to see is you walk in for an audition or booking the role and you don't look like that person they wanted to. Um, and sets earlier, um, do you have any uh, wacky experiences on set that you can help us avoid? What mistakes that we shouldn't be doing? Yes. Yes, absolutely. There's one thing that a lot of people like to do is go up to the actors themselves, like talking about if you're in a small or a big film and you're just a background actor and if you see a big celebrity, the worst thing you do is go up to them and approach them while they're walking around in character, while they're trying to learn their lines, while they're trying to run their lines with another actor. Hey, Bob Jones, can I get a picture with you? It's the worst thing you can do. Um, there is a time and place for that. Um, clearly, once they're done with their scene, there's a lot of times that will happen. Um, Jim Belushi, I just did a film with him about two months ago up here in Fort Lauderdale and called Change of Hearts. And he was very gracious at the end of the day. He said to everybody, hey, anybody want a picture? One picture per person. But it was very cordial, just you know, it's a nice little line there, and he took a picture. Some of them don't do that. Some of them want you, you know, understand this is their nine to five. This is their day job. And when they're done with set, it's wrapped, and they want to get the heck out of there because they've been there since six, seven that morning, and they want to likewise leave. Now, being a seasoned actor, how uh, do you have any advice on how you would adjust to, I guess, the change in times? If that, that makes sense. As in what specifically? I mean, in like the roles that you choose from, you know, when you were younger, and then how things shift over time. You know, sure. um, by all, any and all means, you want to be, you know, I'm more of a character actor. Um, I've been everything from a, from a judge all the way down to a prisoner. So, you know, whatever the, you know, the casting may be, you, you've got to do it. Um, there are times that I'll be given a role and you have to do your homework too. It's not something you just say, okay, I'm going to memorize these nice little lines there and go up and say those lines. You want to be the character. Um, I just was recently in a play, Joe Marie Payton, who's Harriet Winslow from um, Family Matters, she directed it. And I actually played Duke Welling Duke Ellington. Now Duke Ellington is an African American musician. I'm a, you know, as a Caucasian, I don't know any music at all. But I portrayed that character because you know, it's four or five hours of YouTube studying videos, how he spoke, how his mannerisms, how he directed it to the audience, and you know, it's make believe in fantasy world when you're in the movies. So you can be anybody and everything. I even actually one time played Paula Dean in a Paula Dean. I did play that. You know, they dressed me up as her. I got her mannerisms down. But you can play any role out there as long as you know you can pull it off and do justice by doing your homework. Absolutely. Can you give us a little Paula Dean right now? Can I put you on the spot? Sure. Um, she likes to cry a lot, but I won't do the crying part. But there's one thing she likes to do. She loves to bake with butter. And there's one thing that she really does because you gotta have a lot of butter, 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 butter. She 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 loves butter. Let's put it out. That's great. Um, so speaking of training, what advice do you give actors in terms of training in the, throughout their career? Absolutely. It's just like a doctor, a lawyer, any kind of professional job, acting, you must need training. You must have education. Just because you went to four, six years of schooling and you got your nice little pretty degree, that, that's great. Don't get me wrong. But you have to continuous education. Every couple of years, take a couple seminars, take workshops, you know, as many casting directors out there. But don't just do that. Find out who the acting teachers are out there and take six, eight, 12 week classes. By all means, you know, take a couple months off and then go back it again. It's repetitious. You should always do acting classes. And um, any last words? Um, um, you can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, Tommy O'Brien is, you know, with the apostrophe, Tommy O'Brien. Um, I have my own website, www.tommyob.com. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on all that good social media stuff. One important thing is I like to tell actors is networking. That's very important. Um, don't just sit there and wait for your phone call to ring from your agent because it'll barely ever ring. You have to be proactive. You, matter of fact, my phone's ringing right now. <laughs> what a coincidence. I know. No, I, I just, sorry about that. Anyways, um, what a coincidence. But you should always be networking. Um, don't wait for your agents to call you. You should call them. Meet with them once a month. You know, let them know that you're still alive. Let them know what's going on. Always update your resume. Send them a copy of it. Update your headshot. Send them a copy of it. But just don't get, don't wait for your phone to ring. Go out there and network. Go to different social groups. There's so many different things out there. Um, I've got known people know me now because I'm in all these different events. And you never know when that opportunity might come. That they're like, you know what? I know you did this. I saw you in this other film. Hey, you're here. I got a project in mind for you. That they might not have thought of me if they didn't see me there. Yeah.